I work with ICRC now for over 25 years and I've been in several missions with ICRC um, as a, generally as a war surgeon going to, to battlefields and to war fronts, mostly um, volunteer, we all are volunteers doing that. Um, it's, a very, it's a very satisfying um, work we're doing here to help these people who have no access to healthcare, especially like the Syrian refugees. It's getting more and more difficult to get very close uh, to the to the conflict area because of security reasons, like in Syria, for example, it's almost inaccessible for uh, most of the humanitarian, medical humanitarian organizations. Therefore, what we see is uh, patients who have been pre-treated before and had afterwards no after treatment and it takes them weeks, if not months, to get them here. And once they get here, um, the situation is much more complex and difficult. هلا أولا هذه العملية كنت أنا عم ساعد فيها أحد الحكماء إذا تسمعي اسمه اسمه الدكتور أريك ستايجر ستايجر اللي هو أشهر من أشهر الحكماء بالعالم. فكان عندنا أحد المرضى اللي عنده الضأن عنده ملزق بصدره صار له فترة بسبب إصابة قديمة سبع ساعات أو ثمان ساعات فكانت انترستنج يعني أما بالنسبة للأسبوع اللي مري كان عندنا مثل ما سبق وذكرتي 13 عملية إن ماكسيلو فاشيول لكل المرضى اللي كانوا متصابين بالوجه والفكين um, this is a 52-year-old man who got severely uh, burn wounds during a clash and uh, an explosive device which exploded very near uh, where he was standing, exploded a gasoline tank and then he was burned by gasoline all over the face, the lower part of the face and the thoracic cage, uh, the upper part of the body. And as you can see on this patient, um, he was already treated several times before, but then the treatment was not accessible to him anymore and that's the reason why he came to see us. And unfortunately, these treatments were just very superficial, rudimentary treatments, and then we had to go to a much more extensive treatment, get skin, um, healthy skin from other parts of the body, which you could see, and place them in the neck region.